It's actually her fault. Why don't you tell my mom to make enchiladas? She listens to everything. That's my plate. Here's your plate. You served me? No, my mom did. But this is the finished product, guys. We have some aguacate. Yeah. Shout out to the fam. Love. You can't spell love without LVE. You can't spell love without LVE. You can't spell love without it. You can't spell love without it. Hi guys, I just realized that there's no giveaway in this video. So before we get started with today's video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to your post notifications on so you guys can win a hundred dollars from us. All you have to do is those three easy steps. Leave your cash app, something down below. We can reach out to you guys and send you guys the money. And that is it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little video of my mom making some picadillo. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started with today's video, I'm going to quickly thank Brightland for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have not heard about Brightland, guys, Brightland is a female-founded olive oil brand that is made on family-run farms in California. And I'm super excited to be partnering with them today because we basically use olive oil on a daily basis, guys, and I know I'm not a professional at cooking, don't come for me, but I still make my son eggs in the morning, the potatoes, and I feel like putting those kind of types of ingredients in there, the extra virgin olive oils it makes you feel like a professional i'm cooking my son a gourmet egg baby don't worry about it <laughs> but yeah guys i'm super excited to be partnered with him today i'm so so excited i feel like ever since i got pregnant with oakley guys i have been more like into like ingredients and just what i put in my body and i feel like companies that have traceable ingredients are the best because there's so many things out there guys that we don't know do not know that are bad for us but we still eat it because we're so used to it i even bought some for my mom because you guys know she cooks on a daily basis for us and she's making the picadillo which you guys will see in the rest of the video i'm gonna make her use it that way she can try it she's so used to using other oils but she's on to organic i feel like she's not the type to like go out and look for things if she sees it she sees it so i'm so happy to be gifting her this today but Brightland has no additive no junk and it's produced with organic methods the ones that i've been using the most guys are the awake and the live one guys which are one of their best sellers on their website but every bottle looks like this which is super fancy to me super cute on the back of the bottle it says our harvest date and it also tells you what you can enjoy it with you don't necessarily need to enjoy this one with what it says guys everyone has different taste buds so you can enjoy it with whatever you want but they have some on their website guys i'll put it right here i think it comes with a pack of four and it has the lemon one which i got for my mom but i don't want to open it because i want her to have it she cooks the most at her house and we enjoy the most food at our house so i was like you know what keep this one but um the pack of four comes with like the lemon the basil the garlic which i really want to try with garlic bread that sounds so so good i read something on their website guys that made me really really want to buy it so i'm gonna read it to you guys because i love going on websites and just like seeing what they have to say about the company so this is what it says it says we carefully source our olives from a family-run california farm then craft them into custom blended oils our sole ingredient comes from trees that live on for thousands of years so you can rest assured that what you're putting into your body is straight from the earth it's grounded it's good for you it's never seen a lab i said period baby so that made me really want to buy it because I feel like we have to be more conscious of what we put in our body, like I told you guys earlier. I feel like we're so used to using products that we grew up with, guys, but it's time to know what we put in our body. So Brightland is the way to go. If you guys do want to try it out, I'm going to leave my link down below so you guys can get 10% off. But please, guys, try it out. Let me know how you guys feel about it and if you can taste the quality difference because I sure can. Thank you once again, Brightland, for sponsoring today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy my mom's week video. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are finally doing my mom's famous picadillo. I feel like every time we post it on our stories, guys, my DMs blow up and she has been wanting to make it for you guys. So here we are. We're going to make it for you guys. She's going to tell you guys step by step. And I feel like this is one of her fastest ones, guys, besides the carne asada one because that's already, the meat's already prepared. But this one, guys, is one of her fastest ones. So you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, here's all her ingredients. Y lo tiene todo cortado. She has everything cut and ready to go. Mama Laura is prepared. So here's all her ingredients. Here's some cebolla with some tomatoes. Again, we'll put all the ingredients on the bottom below and then some calabaza, some... ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? A calabacitas. Oh, it's squash. Squash. And then some chiles, guys. The chiles are so, so good. And then some potatoes and then organic, what? Organic ground beef. And then this is the one she gets if you guys want to screenshot it. But you guys, are you guys ready? And then the oil from Brightline, of course, which she already put right here. Y what's the first step? First step, we're gonna... Oh, oh. pero ya, primero dijiste que el oil se deja ahí for how long? Okay, como cinco minutos para que se toste bonito, like... Que se queme poquito y lo okay. vamos a echar. Yeah, so the oil has been there for like five minutes. And then she puts the tomate and the cebolla. Ah, cebollita. Dile después de un minuto. <laughs> ah, no, se te olvidó. <laughs> she forgot to add the chilies, guys. So she adds the chilies at the same time as the 
cebolla and tomato. Guys, those chilies, I love to eat them when they're ready to go. They're so good, like soft. Mm. ¿Esos cuáles chiles son? Jalapeño. Jalapeño, yeah. Victor's so excited because this is one of his favorite meals, huh? <laughs> he always asks for this one. Which one's your favorite one? Say the truth. All of them. No, but which <laughs> no, one's like no, 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 the no, one no. that you ask for the I most, the most? I the one that I could always eat that always sounds pretty bomb. Actually, no, there's a couple, but <laughs> this one for multiple reasons, it's picadillo. Picadillo, huh? Yeah. So he's always wanted, he's like, tell us the recipe, tell us. So we're finally filming it, babe. So I can make it for you later. <laughs> yes. So let me do something, guys. So I can say, yes, you go, go Guys, since she put the chilies in here, she's gonna leave it for 10 minutes now because she wants these chilies to be very doraditos. Como se dice en inglés? Fried. Fried. So, lo que yo hago es que pongo la carne a un lado y dejo que se cocine más el chilito de Laura. So, primero solo 10 minutos y luego le agregas eso. La carnita al lado. Y esto es un guiso así. Ahorita se cocina un rato. Como son 3 libras, le vamos a echar un cuarto. ¿De qué? Es sal de ajo. Sal de ajo. Un cuarto. Un cuarto. Yo creo otro más porque es demasiada para que sepa más rica. Y luego de. De pimienta ese sí es un cuarto, poquito okay. menos porque está más así, que quede como la mitad, no okay. más. También hay que exagerar. Uh -huh. Un poquito más. Y de la sal, vamos a echarle sal. También un cuarto. De la sal, no, dos. Dos. Porque es bastante. Uh -huh. Son tres libras, ¿eh? Uh -huh. No sé. Oh yeah, the meat is really good. I forgot to tell you guys that. <laughs> I'll put all the ingredients down below again, like last time. Lo ya la viene dorando. Que se siga dorando el chilito de la oreira. No me haces really watering, guys. Todos cocinamos diferentes. Aquí yo me cocine, me enseñé sola. Pero tú cocinas mejor que todo. <laughs> You know this spoon she was eating, guys? It is one fourth, and my dad got these for us at Target. Let's come to Target. That Target. this is what they look like. These are so cute. They have different colors for each measurement, and this is the one she was using. This is a bra. Oh yeah, there you go. I might just tell you the She forgot this one, guys. So this is another one of the ingredients: organic tomato sauce. She gets these at Costco, then, like Costco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this real life? No. <laughs> is this no, real I'm life? No. Okay. What do you think about me cooking, puppy? Hey, I'm making all these videos, guys, so I can see them later on, okay? My mom has never told me. Dile la verdad. It's actually her fault, not mine. Dile va. ¿Tú crees que iba a cocinar? No, if she's always cooking, you just gotta show interest. Oh, and then she's like, mom, let me see. True, true. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I have failed you guys, pero voy a aprender, no se preocupen. Yo aprendí ahora de grande, ¿no? Yeah, I never cooked. When she was younger, she never cooked. So there's, I mean, younger, I'm so, 30. so there's still hope for me then. <laughs> yeah, there's still hope. <laughs> Guys, I don't even like onion and tomato. This is the first time I see her actually like, cooking it, and I didn't even know there was onion and tomato in it. That's how good it is. That's how you know it's good. Los chiles tienen que dar abajo, mija. Oh, okay. Porque okay. se cocina. These chilies, guys. It's been a couple minutes, this is what the meat looks like now, but my mom said it takes about like 20 to 25 minutes depending on how much meat you guys have. And right now we're working with three pounds. Whoa! Drop some three. Mom is <laughs> We're working with three pounds I of- I know you're gonna drop- <laughs> We're working with three pounds of ground beef, so that's the time that we have, 20 to 25 minutes. This is my mom's first time using the Brightline olive oil because I have some in my house, but I brought some. I brought her a present actually. This one's mine, but I brought her the new one right here so she can get a new one. But this one, guys, she's gonna taste it for us. And she's used every single olive oil in the world, and my mom's a fan of organic. Like she's organic number one. Me quiero regalar algo organic. Literally anything I'm organic she lady. wants. It's time for our next step, and that is adding the organic tomato sauce. Siempre me gusta así porque me gusta que se haga poquito aquí. Calientito. Que se caliente primero aquí solo. Solito. Lo calienta, lo calienta. How long? Como nomás un minuto yo. Oh, Soy okay. muy diferente a todo. I don't know what. So ya One minute and then you blend it all together. 
and she used one whole can guys for three pounds of ground beef again guys all the ingredients all the steps will be down below for you guys so you guys can go screenshot it and send it to your tias your tios your baby daddies Your Sanchas, everyone, ¿verdad? No, y que ustedes hagan no. Nah, me, y me no. lo mandan como las albóndigas. Oh, yeah, guys, if you guys do make it, tag us on your stories so we can see it because we loved getting tagged on the stories because you guys were making them so good. Every time you guys posted them, we're like, oh, ma, make some for us. Y las hago. Y la, I know. <laughs> you, ustedes me hicieron hacer como todos los días albóndigas. <laughs> you guys made us crave it. It was so good. All right, guys, after she added the whole can of original tomato sauce, she cooked it for cuánto tiempo? Como por 10 minutos. Yes. Y ahorita, como a Laura le gusta como caldito. Oh, yeah, I love Le dicho como uh, agua hirviendo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Irvanla. Boiling water. So she's been boiling the water for how long? For like 10 minutes, minutes. ¿verdad? And then le she put... Le tres cup of water. Three cups of water. And the juice, guys, it tastes so, so good. It's como caldito. A lot of people don't like the juice. You can eat it without the juice, especially if you have a spoon, que se sale el agua por abajo. But the juice is so, so good, isn't it? But Laura love it. It's como casi ca caldita. I know I like soup, guys, and she makes it like soup. But the guys like it without the soup, so you can eat it without it, too. Y luego ya que hirva, mm -hmm. ya que hirva, le vamos a echar la papa. La papa. La ¿Cuántas papa. papas usaste? Como ocho chiquitas. Ocho chiquitas, yeah. Así. And again, guys, we have three pounds of ground beef, which is a lot. We usually don't do that much. ¿Cuánto haces? Diario es two pounds, pero two pounds. como we want lunch for tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do some lunch for a tomorrow. A ver. A ver si queda. Yeah. She always says for tomorrow, nunca queda nada. And then the calabazas, ¿cuántas usaste? Tres. Tres. Vienen yeah. tres en el paquete. Yes. Already boiling. Está hirviendo y le vamos a echar la papa. Ooh. I love the papa. It looks so good, huh? so good. It's not gonna look this watery, guys. I know it looks very, very watery, but once it starts like heating up and absorbing all the waters into the potatoes and the meat, it looks a lot less watery, but trust me, guys, it tastes so, so good. And next, vamos a echar. Mm -hmm. El, uh, se llama caldo con sabor a res. Yes. Mm -hmm. Le echas una cucharada mm -hmm. y media. One and a half teaspoons. Ya después, como unos 15 minutos, ya que casi está la papa, mm -hmm. ustedes la van tampiendo. ¿verdad? Yeah, you guys can grab it and taste it, see if you like it hard. Some people like it hard, some people like it soft. We like it kind of soft, medium like hardish. Medium hard. Yeah. So after you taste it and you like the potato, how it feels and stuff, then you can put Le the... Just la zucchini. Zucchini. Oh, no la... que rico. Earlier we said squash, but it's zucchini, zucchini. guys. Zucchini. <laughs> but it's the same thing, it's the same cosa, no? Es lo mismo, pero esta um, es como el squash lo usan para otro otro tipo de oh. comida de zucchini es como oh, para okay. And usually guys we like to eat it with white rice. So my mom already made her white rice. ¿Tú hiciste quién en la pa? No, yo lo cociné. Ah, no les quieres dar la receta de esta? She said not everything for ¿Otra, free. ¿Otra? Lo que le estaba explicando a Laura que mucha gente no no come mucha sal, mm -hmm. solo se le echa la mitad del uh, consomé de res. Pueden ponerle poquito menos sal, pero nosotros sí nos gusta. Yeah. We love everything saladito. So basically what she just said is that you guys can accommodate it to however you guys like it. Some people don't like it too salty. We like it salty, so that's what the measurements that we use. But you guys can go tasting it. Like, start with a little bit and then taste it. So you know if you need more salt, you add more salt and stuff like that. Ah, la professional. ¿Ya está listo? We're all waiting for it. Everyone, look at over here. We're all waiting for it. All right, so it's been cooking for about 15 minutes, guys, with the potato. And the potato tastes so, so good. I already we tried it. And now, now we're going to put the zucchini. Zucchini is like five to seven minutes. Yeah. More because it's so Yeah, that one cooks a lot faster than the potato does. Oops. So the zucchini cooks a lot faster, guys. So the zucchini, we're only gonna leave it in there for like five minutes. If not, it literally deteriorates. So it's also left zucchini really, really fast. So five minutes and it's ready to go. Ya pa comer, listo pa comer. Listo. It's so good. It's so good. It's literally mouth-watering, guys. Especially because we already know how it tastes. You guys, you guys, have, maybe you guys have tried it. If not, please try it because it is so, so delicious. All right, guys, it's ready to go. My mom's making a plate for Victor because my plate looks so whack compared to Victor's, guys, because you already know Victor loves everything. She also made some quesadillas with some beans. All of a sudden, Max comes out of his room with that. No va a salir para comer. <laughs> Max, which, you, is, mom. which one is your favorite out of all my mom's foods? I like 
everything she makes, but I would have to say. I know. This one. No, <laughs> no. Which one's your favorite? Just say the truth. I know this one's a really good one, but which I one's like favorite? when she makes things she loves, but she never makes them. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, see, I'm a It's a special. It's special for me. <laughs> Why don't you tell my mom to make enchiladas? Cause she listens to everything. <laughs> <laughs> when I crave enchiladas, Max, I got you. Let me know when you want them, and I'll ask. Every, every day. Every day. Look at this, guys. This is a finished product. It is so so delicious, guys. <laughs> guys, this is my plate. I like to eat it with the chile. Look at the chile, Ugh, and I like to just go like that. Y con el arrocito. Guys, Oakley is obsessed with my dad. Oakley! Oh, <laughs> Here's your plate. You served me? No, my mom did. <laughs> but look how good, guys. This is the finished product. Look at what? Missing the best thing, oh, sorry, sorry. the Valentina. Ah, but this, <laughs> but this is the finished product, guys. We have some aguacate, the picadillo, the chile, the rice, and quesadillas. You can do quesadillas, tortillas, and Victor likes to put Valentina on top of all of it. Mm. Wow. It's busting. It's busting. The flavors are melting in my tongue. <laughs> Even Elliot likes it. Let me see, puppy. What is it called? Oh, yeah. Ceviche. What? Ceviche. Not ceviche. <laughs> Alright, Bob. What do you give her rating this? I need to do it. I'm gonna give it eight. An eight? Eight out of ten? My dad never gives her higher than a what? Like an eight. Eight point five. Eight point five is the highest I've ever seen my dad give her. But my mom's food is always a what? He eats it every day. Yeah. Every. day. <laughs> like, if you would complain, you would drive to someone else. <laughs> Yeah. But my boss would have what? <laughs> this is how much is left over, guys. Even Marcus came from his house to pick up some to take go. What? To take some to go, but this is what we're gonna eat tomorrow because even after, guys, it literally tastes even better the day after because I think it gets more even more concentrated. So it tastes even better. Feed yourself, Bobby. Hey, Me this weekend. <laughs> Is it good, Bobby? Is it good? <laughs> ma, this, ma, ma, this was me this weekend. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I get to close the video out at my mom's house. When we got home, the boys are sleeping. All the boys, even Victor. Poor Victor, he wakes up at 7 a.m. to take Elliot to school. Shout out to him, best daddy ever. And then I stay with Oakley back at home in the morning, so I wake up with Oakley. But yeah, guys, we're gonna end the video right here. I am so, so full, guys. You know when you eat so much that you can't sleep? That is me right now. So I'm like moving around the house, trying to clean. We have a three-story condo, guys. So I'm like walking up and down to make sure because I ate so, so much. But when my mom makes food, guys, I can never say no. Like, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat my mom's food regardless. I don't care if I already ate, I'm gonna eat it because her stuff is so, so good. Hey guys, I love making these videos because I get to keep these forever. I get to learn how to cook with my mom, and then you guys get these amazing recipes because we do not gatekeep over here, ladies. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for requesting the videos. My mom loves, loves making these videos. So let us know what else you guys wanted to cook, want us to cook. Thank you once again, Brightland, for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!